Howdy y'all. This is Jim Skies and I'm back again reading from William Grinnell's The Christian Incomplete Armor, Volume 1. If you remember, if you've seen the other videos, I have uh, mentioned that this is a 1655 writing, a uh, long discussion of uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, and I like to throw in through 20, um, covering the full armor of God and spiritual warfare. Let's start off with a quick little prayer. Father God, we thank you for loving us and putting us in your army. Give insights and open the hearts and the minds of people who hear this today and let them uh, take this as training to be soldiers in your army. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for our blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, we'll start out telling you where I am. Uh, this is Lake Seminole in the, the lower southwest corner of Georgia. And you're looking at the sunset over there. That's Florida on the other side of this lake. And Alabama is maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 miles north of here. Uh, Georgia goes down a little bit further south than Alabama does at the state line. So uh, that's on the other side of the lake. It's west of here, obviously, because the sun's going down. But it's Florida. Uh, it's west of Georgia. It's also south of here. Going out of the campground, the, we cross the state lines two or three times going in and out of Georgia and Florida. Well, we have been reading uh, a section here discussing what ignorance does to hinder your walk uh, with Christ and, uh, and and hinder your your battle with Satan. And we're in uh, and we're on page 181. If anybody had this book, we're, we're on page 181. And reading number 84, the way I've divided it up, starts off with the way to knowledge. When the light of truth begins to seep into a darkened soul, the sinner can see just enough to realize the seriousness of his dilemma. He may be overwhelmed by the magnitude of his need and ask, how can I escape this mire of ignorance? God provides some simple instructions for the sinking man. First, acknowledge your ignorance. Some are blind, like the church of Laodicea, and do not know it. That's Revelation 3.17. Ignorance is a spiritual cataract, but pride keeps this kind of person from seeking a physician. He often considers himself too good to learn from another man, and too bad to be taught by God. Heed this warning. If you are such a one, God will accept neither excuse for clinging to the ignorance when you stand before him. Christ sends out personal invitations to everyone to come and learn at his feet. But the door into his school is low. Your pride must stoop to enter. The master himself is humble and lowly. How can he teach a haughty student? Therefore, for, therefore first become a fool in your own eyes. When you hang your head in shame at your own hedonism, then you are ready to be admitted to the school of Christ. Be faithful with your knowledge. Perhaps you have only a small light to lead you into truth. If so, follow it closely. When it casts a shadow on anything, even the smallest speck, convincing you it is sin, flee from it at once. Or if your light leads you into action for the Lord, follow eagerly and wholeheartedly. How else will your knowledge of the truth grow fat and healthy unless you exercise it regularly? Here is a word of caution. Use your knowledge properly. God will not bless anyone who uses knowledge as an excuse to sin. Nor will he increase your knowledge of him if you keep it shut up in your conscience, afraid to confess him before men. The light of truth in a man's heart is like a candle flame. It must have air to flourish. If you keep it hidden for very long, what little knowledge you have will be taken away. Learn a lesson from what happened to the heathen described in Romans who held the truth in unrighteousness, and their foolish heart was darkened. That's Romans 1, 18 and 21. 
pray for more wisdom. God is the repository of all knowledge and wisdom. To excel in the school of divinity, you must study upon your knees. This is the way to place yourself under God's tutelage. You may, attend, you may attend lectures or study in the world's great universities to gain a knowledge of scripture, but wisdom to apply its precepts comes from God alone. If you wish to be wise, pray, pray, pray. Holy conversing with him yields sanctified knowledge. Do not hesitate to pray boldly. God gives wisdom to all who ask, and he gives generous heaping portions. Never be ashamed to go to him in your ignorance. He is not like those rude, unfeeling teachers we have, we have seen who seem to delight in mocking the ignorance of their pupils. He is a kind teacher, and your desire to learn pleases him. While everyone does not achieve the same level of understanding in this life, still all who come with earnest, open hearts will receive ample instructions to prepare them for kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. We have this promise from the Psalms. Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel, and afterward receive me to glory. That's Psalm 73, 24. Father God, first thank you for your word, your teaching. Thank you for bringing us into your army. I pray for anybody listening to, if they're not a believer, to, to seriously consider your eternity. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation. We love you, Lord, and thank you for our blessings. In Jesus' name again, amen. I want to. I guess I should show you my little camper here. That's my big camper. It's not a little camper. Um, here we are. We got back further away. Uh, it, uh, well, I guess turn it down that way. There's the front of it, and there's my truck, and here's the rest of the campground here. Uh, we're in Georgia, so there's big pine trees all around. And this is the rest of the campground. We'll walk around here. You can see the other side of my camper. There's the front. It's kind of dark, I guess. Maybe hard to see. And there's the other side. And there's my neighbor over there. And here's the rest of the campground. There's a guy over there walking his dog. All right. We're going to shut down now.